The lazuli bunting is a species that's common in brushy or weedy habitat, preferably along streams. It is mainly found in low vegetation, but sinks from high in trees, like this bird is doing. Unfortunately, that light wasn't in my favor here, because it's a gorgeous bird and this video doesn't do it justice. Hello everyone and welcome to another wildlife vlog. Right now in El Dorado National Forest. Looking for some birds. Already had a, a goal species, which was the lazuli bunting, which I saw, which is a lifer, and I also saw a black backed woodpecker, or two actually. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm just gonna hike some more, see what we'll find. So, yeah, let's go. The white-breasted nuthatch is common in mature deciduous and mixed forests. It is usually found solitary or in pairs, but may be found in mixed flocks of small songbirds. It feeds on insects and seeds that they obtain from the bark. It is usually seen on trunks or major branches of trees climbing head down like a characteristic nuthatch. They can move in any direction while they're climbing a tree. They do not use their tail for a brace while climbing like woodpeckers do. They just use their two feeding which are clinging with sharp claws. Their hind toe is relatively large and very important. They usually place on one foot above the other. The lower foot will be used as a brace while the upper foot will cling to the bark. The black-headed gross beak is common in mature the city's woods, but can also be found in other wooded and brushy habitat. This bird is a female. The male has a beautiful orange body with its black head. The female is recognized by its more yellowish color with the stripes on its face. This bird is a male black-headed crow's beak. This hairy woodpecker is a juvenile. That is a juvenile can be seen because of the red cap starting at the base of its bill. An adult male has this red patch on the back of its head. An adult female doesn't have this red patch. It's a very common species in North America. Slightly bigger than its close relative to downy woodpecker and has a bigger bill. It's a non migrant and it's a primary cavity nester in the city as a coniferous forest, well wooded towns, parks, and open areas with trees scattered all over the place.
Real deer are polygynous, which means that the male will mate with multiple females during mating season. From November to February, the males will challenge each other to compete for the females. This will happen between males who are even in size and strength. The female will be gestating for 6 to 7 months and then one or two fawns will be born. This doe succeeded in bringing two beautiful fawns on this planet. The fawns are born in early summer. It's pretty common that there is a twin born after the first pregnancy. If they are still being nursed, the fawns will stay hidden during the day while their mother is out. They will join their mother after a few weeks on her adventures. They usually stay with their mother for the full first year. The red-shouldered hawk is a bird from the Bacio genus, but can sometimes look like it's from the Exipeter genus. They return to their same nesting territories every year. One red-shouldered hawk has even occupied a territory for 16 years. So there's quite a nice hike in El Dorado National Forest. Seen some uh, nice bird species and a nice mule deer with two calves two fawns. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Take care.